online cloud games. There's thousands on Scratch, but that really begs the question, which ones are truly the best? You guys submitted your favorite cloud games to me and I went through every single one and I narrowed it down to the top 5. Every game listed today you can play right now no matter what computer you have, even if it's a school on Chromebook. And with that, let's just hop in. At number 5, we have Nitro Racing. Um, hands down, probably the best racing game of Scratch, at least that I've seen, um, besides my racing game that I made when I was like 5. Uh, yeah, back to Nitro Racing. Uh, <laughs> this game has several different modes and a ton of tracks. Um, so even if you don't have a ton of friends, you can still race on 18 different tracks and test out all these different cars on like single player mode. Um, but again, the online mode, which is right here, is also really, really fun to mess around with. Sometimes it's a little bit glitchy, but you can kind of like... Uh, you can still like mess around and see when like people crash and you can kind of drive by them. Uh, the map changes periodically, so it's pretty fun. The graphics are actually so fire. Um, just like look at this panoramic effect with like the like the track, um, and also you can kind of, like see the particles here. And yeah, definitely give this game a tryout. Um, a crazy amount of work went into developing it. There's like a bunch of different cars, so many other features. Um, I'm not gonna spend years talking about, but yeah, uh, really fun. Also, real quick, if you've noticed this like black box in this corner with some text messages, it's because some of the footage you're watching right now is actually from a live stream. Uh, periodically, I play some of these Scratch games live with you guys, and I do live streams all the time like this, so if you want to be a part of these fun little streams, make sure to subscribe and tap the bell to get notified. And at number 4, Among Us. On Scratch? I'm not even joking. It's on Scratch, it's online, and it freaking works. Um, now, there's a really good chance that you already know what Among Us is. Uh, we've all kind of... yeah. So I'm not really going to describe how the game works, but I do want to show you a little bit of gameplay and what the Scratch version has to offer compared to the real version. Um, I think that Scratch replicas of real games have this kind of notion that they suck in comparison. Uh, for example, we've all seen like cr clickbait titles of like, I found Minecraft in Scratch, and it's either Paper Minecraft or it's some weird pen render, but genuinely, this version is quite literally just Among Us. Um, that's because this Scratch version is almost identical to the exact real thing. Customization works, movement works, lobbies work, all the tasks works, all the functions works, everything works. And the most amazing part to me is how it's somehow not laggy. While I admit the chat is a little bit hard to use because it's one of those things where it's a kind of like click and like select different like text bubbles. Um, I think the game is still really fun and really playable. So actually insane work to the creator Tim McCool. Um, if you're trying to play Among Us on school Wi-Fi, this is a hundred percent the way to go okay look really advanced and complex game engines like these are not meant to be made with scratch i mean hey it's a coding platform for kids that uses colored blocks but if you've ever wanted to actually level up and really start professional game development you've got to check out game maker game maker is a fast and easy to use 2d game engine that's been used to develop tons of well-known indie games that you've already heard of such as undertale <laughs> Game Maker is also completely free. You can make a full game, export it, and share it anywhere instantly. Projects can be downloaded to PC, mobile, web, consoles, and even Nintendo. There's so many in-depth tutorials that teach the basics and the advanced stuff alike. And also, there's just, again, a laundry list of templates to get started with. Furthermore, there's a massive community supporting right now, curated around beginners and learners around the world. There's pre-made resources and sprites for you to tinker around with and get comfortable, and a visual system if you're still trying to adjust from block-based coding. If you've been thinking about moving on from scratch honestly this is one of the best places to start download game maker in the comments below and thanks to their team for sponsoring today's video okay back to the video at number three we have getting over it um this one arguably it's uh it's not perfect it definitely is a little bit laggy but it is by far the funniest game i will show you today um it's really scuffed and kind of the thesis of the game is you're kind of this like character that's trying to uh, use the stick to hop over obstacles and it's definitely really really rage bait it's so amazing uh, to see people fly around and fall oh my lord oh my god what is this game As a little bonus, you should also check out Gorilla Tag 2D, and it's basically the exact same thing, um, but the graphics are even funnier, they're slightly better, you can play tag with other players, and you're kind of this monkey and the whole shebang. Um, I put these two games in here not because they're astounding, but because they're just generally fun to play online with friends, um, and yeah, definitely go check these two out. Um, 
they're, they're, they're literally just funny. Coming in at number two, almost at number one, if you're looking for something that's a little more, what's the word, like, wholesome, I guess? Um, that's probably not the right word. I personally really, really like the submission about Pixel Valley. Um, the physics are just so fun. It's basically just a scrolling platform where you just kind of go through different lands. Um, the transitions are so smooth and the game is just really well put together. Um, like the particles, like the black bars when the enemies come into play, like it's just a really good game put together. That, um, again, it's a scoring platformer, there's enemies, fruit, um, there's even skins that you can kind of cycle through and look at. Um, and I'm not going to walk you through the whole platformer because that kind of defeats the purpose of it. Um, again, definitely go check it out for yourself. It's a really well put together game, it kind of reminds you a little bit about like Gim Kit and stuff like that. And yeah. Quickly, I wanted to shout out this one extra cloud game, and yes, it is chess. I'm sorry, but I'm genuinely so surprised at how well Timmy Cool's version worked. Um, this chess has the ability to like draw, it has settings, it has this funny applaud thingy. I um, mean, I played a game with Chandra 10K in stream, and for those of you nerds out there, um, off the few seconds of gameplay I'm showing you right now, try to guess my elo in the comments. Go for it. Um, and I'll tell you if you're right um anyways yeah so if somehow chess.com is blocked to your school but scratch isn't you can play chess now um the version works really well and yeah yeah you've been waiting for it number one my personal favorite out of every single submission it's gotta be downgrade 2 um if you don't know what downgrade 1 is it's basically this 2d shooter that you basically can change weapons and power-ups but only when you die and the more kills you get the weaker you become and it creates this really fun dynamic where again really really good players who are like getting really skilled at the game are actually put at a big disadvantage so it's actually easier for weaker players to win um the best part of this game is like you don't really need to save progress or anything like no because you're always changing guns and you're always cycling through different power-ups um so you can legitimately just hop onto the game and just start playing instantly and it's still hella hella fun um i used to play downgrade one a lot back in the day and i still do to this day especially ever since downgrade 2 came out um and it's still so much fun um even now that downgrade 2 is out there's new settings there's new guns there's new everything i highly highly recommend you check out this game like the graphics are amazing you can kind of change the settings however you like um music the sprites everything about it is literally peak um and yeah it's top down one of my favorite games in the entirety of scratch not just online games and yeah, um, one last thing before we end the video today, every game linked here today was submitted by you guys, my subscribers, and also each link to each game is put down below. Um, I also do want to note that you can also play every single one of these games on Turbo Warp as well, which if you didn't know already is kind of like a scratch fork that essentially makes the games run a lot lot faster and a lot smoother. The best part is that Turbo Warp is still completely online, so as long as other people and your friends are also using Turbo Warp, you can still play with them. Um, do note that you can change your username on Turbo Warp, which means that people can technically impersonate each other so be careful of that and yeah turbo warp's always here if a certain game gets too laggy or if you just want a better experience in general um here i did a side-by-side -side comparison of what it's like to play downgrade on scratch versus what it's like to play downgrade on turbo warp you can see that like just the fps is just way smoother and just a better experience in general so i would definitely give turbo warp out a try if you have time and yeah thanks for watching this video i hope you found something new i haven't posted in a bit because of school lately but hey, hopefully we have some new stuff coming soon, and yeah, see y'all in the next video.